Greetings and welcome to Liberian TV Network. My name is Patricia J.V. Talu, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the history of Liberia. Liberia is a country in West Africa which was founded by free people of color from the United States. It is bounded by Sierra Leone to its northwest, Guinea to its north, Ivory Coast to its east, and the Atlantic Ocean to its south. It has a population of around 5 million people and covers an area of 43,000 square miles. Liberia is divided into 15 counties and it has about 16 tribes, some of which include Kran, Basso, Mano, Gyo, Gola, Kru, Grebo, Kisi, Loma, Mende, Bele, Fa, De, Mandigos, and so forth. The capital city of Liberia is Monrovia and English is Liberia's official language. Liberia began in the early 19th century as a project of the ACS, the American Colonization Society. According to history, the ACS believed black people would face better chances for freedom and prosperity in Africa than in the United States. Between 1822 and the outbreak of the American Civil War in 1861, more than 15,000 free and freeborn people of color who faced social and legal oppression in the U.S., along with 3,198 Afro-Caribbeans relocated to Liberia. Gradually developing an American Liberian identity, the settlers carried their culture and tradition with them. The Liberian constitution and flag was modeled after those of the U.S., while its capital was named after ACS supporter and U.S. President James Monroe. Liberia declared independence on July 26, 1847, which the U.S. did not recognize until February 5, 1862. On January 3, 1848, Joseph Jenkins Roberts, a white freeborn African American from the U.S. in the state of Virginia, settled in Liberia, was elected Liberia's first president after the people proclaimed independence. Liberia was the first African republic to proclaim its independence and is Africa's first and odious modern republic. It was among the first countries to maintain its sovereignty during the scramble for Africa. During World War II, Liberia supported the United States' war effort against Germany and in turn received considerable American investment in infrastructure, which aided the country's worth and development. President William V. S. Tutman encouraged economic and political changes that heightened the country's prosperity and international profile. Liberia was a founding member of the League of Nations, United Nations, and the Organization of African Unity. The American Liberian settlers did not relate well to the indigenous people they encountered, especially those living in the more isolated interior. The colonial settlers were raided by the crew and gribble from their inland chiefdoms. American Liberians promoted religious organizations to set up missions and schools to educate the natives. American Liberians formed into a small elite that held disproportionate political power. Indigenous Africans were excluded from birth rights from birth rights citizenships in their own land until 1904. In 1980, political tensions from the rule of William Arrow Tobot resulted in a military coup, during which Tobot was killed, making the end of American Liberian rule in the country and beginning over two decades 
of political instability. Five years of military rule by the People's Redemption Council and five years of civilian rule by the National Democratic Party of Liberia. Followed by the first and second Liberian civil wars. This resulted in the death of 250,000 people, which is about 8% of the population, and the displacement of many more, with Liberia's economy shrinking by 90%. A peace agreement in 2003 led to democratic elections in 2005, which Ellen Johnson Sirleaf was elected president making history as the first female president in the, in the continent. National infrastructure and basic social services were severely affected by the conflicts as well as by the 2013 and 2016 outbreak of Ebola virus, with 83% of the population living below the international poverty line as of 2015. Thank you.